hi guys on today's video i know some of you have been asking me to share with you some of my experiences especially uh, abroad and today i want to share with you my worst experience uh when i was in qatar working there uh in this and this time i was working as a cleaner in a certain company and i was not alone we were with other girls and other boys of course we were working this was my first job in qatar when i came in qatar so when we were working there there is this my our boss his name i won't mention his name but he knows what he did for us like he was the worst and the good he had his good and bad 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 uh side so i want to share with you my worst experience with working with him or working on this company so i came from kenya i traveled to uh, qatar and uh, because i wanted some money so i ended up working as a cleaner and then when i actually i did not get this job like uh, the way we uh, we search for jobs on linkedin and get the job no i had to use an agent whom i paid over hundred thousand uh i paid actually one hundred and twenty thousand to get that job and also this agent told me that the work that i was coming to do was not uh cleaning it was supervising other girls to clean so i knew i was coming as a supervisor but when i came in qatar i found out that this was all lies okay so i went and came i found other girls they are there they are they also they, they were lied by the agents in kenya and then uh, we were told what exactly we are going to do so our work was actually to clean people's home and also to be nannies now I want to share with you my worst um, experience working in this company. Even though I was excited working with other girls and actually going and coming because I wanted money and I adapted so quickly um, to everything. Now, the worst thing was that uh, the working conditions came harder because working in homes like a nanny, especially in Arab countries, those people who are working there will bear with me. It's not easy. Sometimes you go to a different home, the kids are so rude, they call you all the names, bad names, they, they make you feel so bad. So uh, sometimes you go to a certain home, there are a lot of uh, things you need to do, clean everything, wash everything, do this and do this, do this and this. There's no time even for relaxing. So it was so hard for me. And then we, me and together with other three girls, we decided, no, I'm not, we are not going to work anymore because we were paid low and also the working condition was not good. So we decided to quit. And uh, if we are not quitting, we wanted to actually not to go to Kenya, but to find other jobs. So we went directly to our boss. <laughs> So we went directly to our boss, told our boss that we don't want to work as uh, cleaners or as nannies. We want another job, okay? We want to find other jobs like in, in restaurants, in, uh, in other jobs that we can do. So I had some experience working as a clerk and also I had experience working uh, as a waitress, as a sales lady. So I had several uh, experiences that I could actually uh, get a job. When I told my boss, of course, he was too shouting. He was uh, so much shouting. He was an Arabic guy from Fi <laughs> Palestine, not Philistine. He was a Palestinian uh, guy. Okay. So I told this, my boss, I, I need a transfer. Like I don't need uh, to work like a nanny. I'm tired and I'm not going to work anymore uh i want another job so he he told me okay if you want to work as a waitress or you want to go another company uh you need to do what you need to have an noc noc is no obligation uh certificate uh like you can go anywhere and find another job and this noc is only it was only being given um by your boss the person who has sponsored you so i told him i want this paper and then when i told him i want this paper he was like you're gonna pay me the money that i used actually to bring you to qatar the money that i have spent on you uh, on your rent the money because we were staying in accommodation with other girls the money that i have made for visa and everything and then i asked him how much do you want he told me you're gonna pay me uh five thousand qatar lira 
And I was like, 5,000 Qatar, that is a lot. You are not even paying us that much. You are not even half of it. Why are you doing this to us? And he was like shouting, you have to pay me this money. If you not pay me this money, khalas, khalas, you into mushkila. Into mushkila means you are the problem. You go to Kenya. Uh, then he was like, you maskini. Maskini means you are poor. <laughs> He was too much shouting, shouting and talking in Arabic, into mushkila, into, into, I don't know, I forget the Arabic words. He was so shouting and so angry at me, angry at every girl that was actually saying that uh, they don't want to work. So he told us to pay 5,000 Qatar lila. 5,000 Qatar lila, if I translate it into, um, into into dollars, I think around um, a lot of money, especially uh, in my own country like Kenya. This is a lot of money. So I told him, can you give us now? We discussed and then he lowered the, the price and then he told that we're going to give him 4,000 Qatar Lira. So me and together with my three girls we because i had some saving the girl uh, the other girl had some saving we take we took this money gave the boss so that we can find another work of, co of course i had found a new job uh, in a restaurant i will never forget i had gone even for an interview passed the interview and i was to go the next day like uh, to sign the contract and a good salary and everything so my boss was to give me this paper uh, remember it was on Friday and then when we went like when I went like when I went to this my boss office it was on Friday on Saturday he had to give us this paper so that on Monday I can uh, try and go to finish or finalize with the new uh, job that I had uh, gotten and they were to they told me that if you won't show up on Monday halas, you won't uh, you won't have this chance so my boss told us, you give us, you give me this money today, on Friday, on tomorrow, on Saturday. Come and pick your papers, the NSC paper, and go to find another job. So we were excited. We were super excited, me and with the other girls. And then we told um, our friends to help us to contribute this money. And then we gave our boss this money. After we have given him the, the money, he told us, tomorrow morning, prepare yourself, wash everything, uh, clean the house, the accommodation very well, pack your things very well, uh, and then because you need uh, to go to take a passport photo, to, and also you need to sign, uh, to sign the papers knowing that you are going to another uh, job. He was super happy, and I, I say to myself, I've never seen this man this much happy. Why, why is he all of a sudden so happy like this? So, we gave him the money and then we went home, cleaned uh, the accommodation, everything. We did everything and then cleaned ourselves, made our hair neatly because we were going for our new job. Guess what happened when it came to Saturday morning? <laughs> My daughter is here. She's making a little bit noise. <laughs> So guess what happened when it came to sa Saturday morning, sorry. When it came to Saturday morning, the van was outside. The, 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 the company van, like the company vehicle. We were, like we, we thought we were going to the office of our boss so that we can take the papers. Guess what? This driver came with the tickets to go to our country, Kenya. Three tickets, me and my friend and uh, like uh, me and my two friends the tickets were signed and we were going to kenya and he was told to take us to the airport and by the way he came with another police person another man who had uh, i don't know if he, he was a real police or not uh, not a policeman so the driver told us that uh, mr so and so i won't mention mention his name for security purposes um uh, he has said that I take you to the airport. I don't know. I don't need to negotiate with you. And then we call this, uh, our boss. I call him, ask him, why are you doing this to us? I was so mad at him. I was so angry. And I was like, why are you doing this? 
you have not told us we are going we are not going to Kenya we are not going to Kenya we need our money back why are you doing this and then he was rude he said that you girls you are very bad girls i gave uh, i brought you here you don't want to work uh, you need to go back to Kenya and then if you want to have another job you can come back here in using that that company i don't want to speak and that's it khalas he was so angry and then we decided we are not going to that van instead we are going to report him and then we went to the police station guess what to the nearby police station guess what when we went there he had already communicated in that area that we three girls will come here and they will be making some little noise forget about them tell them to go back to accommodation when we went there we said what we wanted to say what happened and how we have been working and they told us there is nothing we can do if the boss want you to go to Kenya just go uh, because he don't want you they he already brought the tickets and that is how we came back to Kenya <laughs> without our money our money had gone our jobs that we had gotten had gone and there was no way we are going to get anything from him because we can't get him to the police station because he already know people there and he was working with other people so that was my worst 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 experience uh but it was a blessing in this case because later after one week i got a job offer that actually sponsored my visa and everything back to qatar i'll be telling you that story and how amazing this qatar uh, how, how amazing this my boss was and the boss family maybe next in my videos until next time again i'll see you bye bye if you have worked in calf countries comment below tell me if you have had such bad experiences especially with your bosses or anything towards you especially if you are an african like me or if you are a foreigner i want to hear from me from you if you are liking my content you want to hear me uh, share with you more experiences abroad or working experiences or uh, anything to do with um, abroad life or turkey or qatar or Dubai. I, let me know in the comment section and i'll be so glad to read some of your comments until next time again i'll see you bye bye